The path to financial freedom can be hard. It can be extremely challenging for people. And it's not just financial freedom. It's in any area of life. Relationships, finances, career, health. There's a lot of ups and downs. But what I want to share with you today is a simple concept that I share with my children that I'm instilling in them for their entire life so that they can actually win during the hard times. So if you're interested in learning how to win through the hard times, I want to share this one principle with you. So stay tuned for that. My name is Joe Moffy with Master Life by Design. And today's video is one financial freedom lesson that I am teaching my children. When you're on your path to financial freedom, it can be one of the most challenging things that you ever do in your life, but it can be the most rewarding. Now, does it have to be challenging? No. Do I know people who have had success quickly? Sure. They just you know, depending on their lifestyle and their financial needs, they, they're able to hit it rather quickly. Could be even one or two deals. Um, in fact, I did a video that you guys will be able to see with Sam w uh, Wyget. I think that's how you say his name. But uh, you guys want to check that out with Code Living. It's absolutely awesome. Helping people with financial freedom fast on uh, through that strategy. But look, let's be honest. It's most of the time it's... Like in life, there's a lot of ups and downs, right? We go through seasons of winter and then there's seasons of harvest and there's seasons of planting. And so we go through all these seasons, but what happens is if we're not careful, especially if you don't have a coach to help you with your psychology on the path, when we hit some of those low points, when we hit those points where, why am I doing this? What am I gonna, am I ever gonna achieve my goal? Can I, can I do this? It's great for everyone else, but not for me. Is it really for me? Is financial freedom something I can achieve? Or is it just for the special out there, the gifted? We all have those mindsets. I hear all the time from clients. And so one of the things I wanna share with you today is how do we overcome that? And there's a lesson that I learned and I, I started to impart on my children. And I want them to take this lesson with them everywhere they go in life, in every area of their life, whether it's relationships, their health, finances, a path to financial freedom. This one lesson, yet simple but powerful, is one that I am ingraining in them. And that's this. Okay, boys, when we fall, what do we do? Get back up. That's right, get back up. All right, as you see, my boys, they know this lesson. I've been teaching them for years. Even my youngest knows it. But that is when you fall, you must get back up. See, we all fall down. It's not a matter of if you're going to fall. It's just when you're going to fall. And more importantly, what are you going to do when you fall? See, I know a lot of people who fall and they stay down, right? I've done that for many years of my life. It would take me months sometimes when I fell to turn things around and working on myself, working with a coach, working on my emotional intelligence, I started to turn that around. It took, instead of taking months, it took a week, and or excuse me, a month, and then after a month, it took two weeks to turn things around, then a week to turn things around, and then a few days, and then one day, and then you know half a day, and then a few hours, and then within under an hour, and under 30 minutes, and under five minutes, and so I started working on myself. Now, when you fall, getting back up, that is not a motivation tactic. It's not a motivation saying. It's not to inspire you. It's truth. It's more of a mindset. See, when you fall, get back up is a mindset, not motivation. And there's a difference because a mindset is something that you live with. It's a, it's a principle or it's these boundaries that you live within. See, the problem with motivation is it pumps you up and eventually like a balloon, it starts to slowly deflate. And all of a sudden you need more of a pump up. But when you actually have a mindset of that, it's like, these are the guardrails, these are the boundaries, this is what you're working with, the mindsets in between those guardrails and it's something you carry with you. When you fall, you wanna make sure that in those seasons where it seems challenging, it seems impossible, that you have a principle that you stand on and that is you get back up doesn't mean that you can't sit there and whine like a baby and cry and see what's under the fridge but you have to get back up you have to keep going what's the alternative are you just going to sit there and do nothing are you going to work a nine to five are you going to work your small business and just be trapped in the life that you have now i'm not saying some of you that are watching your life's pretty good now if this was the best it ever got you have a good life but you don't have a great life you don't have financial freedom. You don't have the time freedom, the location freedom, the mental freedom, the emotional freedom 
that you truly deserve. See, we all deserve this. It's not reserved for the elite. It's not reserved for the special or the most important people in the world or the God given, you know, gifts that people think that they sh need or ha should have in order to be able to achieve their goals. No, the, anyone can do this. And I will tell you, first off, being a, you know, a dorky kid from New Jersey who wanted to be in the NBA and being 5'10 white in a small vertical, you don't really have the opportunity to do that. If I can achieve that, then you can do it too. And so here's what, here's my point is you have to make it a mindset that you are going to get back up when things get tough. It's not easy. You got to take some time to process where you are. I get that. And I go into helping clients with that moment when they're at kind of at rock bottom or they're in that season and helping them process through that. But then you gotta do something different. You gotta get back up. But here's the thing, this is, this is key. You can't get back up and make the same mistakes. You have to learn from the mistake or the lesson uh, or the challenge that you experience. You have to take something away so when you get back up, you're actually stronger than when you fell the first time. I can't tell you how many times in business I have I've fallen down, I've messed up, I screwed up, I've lost money. I can't tell you how many times in my health, you know, I, I gained a lot of weight and I was just unimpressed with myself. I was disappointed in myself. I, I wasn't in shape and it was just frustrating. Or in my relationships when I would just, you know, get knocked down or moments that I got cheated on in my past or how I would disrespect my girlfriend or by pushing them away, hoping that they crawl back and love me. Like there's so many times I fell down, but I'm so grateful I got back up because of the life that we get to live today. And now I'm not a billionaire and I'm not living on yachts or anything like that, but I do own my time. I do get to watch my boys grow up every day. I get to spend as much time with them as I want. We do have a nanny that allows us to be able to do things like make these videos uh, be able to deliver an impact to you guys. We do get to travel. In fact, the, as I'm recording this video, we're hopping on a plane to go to the East Coast to spend a week at the beach. We get to do life by design. It's so cool. I never would have had this if I just had the mentality, the mindset that if I fall, I'm just going to stay down or the victim or pitiful me. I'm never going to achieve. I never, ever, ever see one victim be prosperous. I've never seen it. And so if you find that mentality in you, you may need to work with a coach so that you can actually uproot that, get that out, the insecurities, the fear, the performance space, like whatever that is, you want to get that out so that you can make sure that you, when you fall, you get back up, but you learn from it. It makes you stronger, right? How many times have we seen people in like UFC or boxing, right? Or even in sports, they, they lose and then they come back. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant are some great examples. They lost on their path to their first championship. And it, instead of being a crybaby, a victim about it, what do they do? Next day, they're back in the gym. The playoffs are still going on. But there isn't an NBA champion yet. Yet they were back in the gym working harder than ever all throughout the summer to get back, to get better, to get back up and to be better next season and what happened they went on to win multiple championships because of that mindset that when you fall you get back up and if i had to add a tagline to it you get back up stronger than before when you fell and that's huge that's absolutely huge so there was one distinction that i had it came out my mouth and sometimes when i'm coaching people things come out it's like the holy spirit speaks through me right like god's speaking through me at times when i'm coaching and I'm like, wow, that's really good. I got to get a pen and paper and write that down. And there was something that I said a couple of weeks ago that I wrote down that I want to share. I think it's appropriate here. Um, it's nothing that you haven't heard before, but just the moment that it came out and the way it impacted the client was truly impactful. And it's, there's always a price to pay for something great. If you want financial freedom, you want time freedom, location freedom, mental, emotional freedom, all the freedom out there that you desire, you're gonna pay a price for it. You have to give up something for it. In this Western culture, there is a transaction-based uh, society, right? Like you're going to have to give money for a good or a service. That's just the way things work right now. It's worked that way for so many you know, centuries. You're gonna have to pay the price and you're gonna have to give up something for it. Whether it's your time, your resources, both. 
right? You're going to have to sacrifice. And so in that sacrifice, you're going to fall, especially if you're trying something new. This is huge. Here comes another one. Thank you, Lord. Look, here's the thing. If you're going to achieve something great, you're and you're going to stretch yourself, you're going to fall. There's going to be moments where you fall on your journey. If you're not falling, here's another one. If you're not falling, right? On your path, you're not going to be stretched. You're not stretching yourself. You're not going into the, the land of the unknown where everything you want, hope and desire, that's where it all resides. So you have to unlock this mindset that when you fall, you get back up because when you do, you're going to take a lesson from it and you're going to grow. You'll be even stronger. You're going to fall again and you're going to get back up and you're going to be even stronger. And this is a lesson I'm imparting on my children because I want it to be a way of thinking. So if they fail in school, not not in class, but if they fail in like making a friend, if they fail in asking a girl out, if they fail at you know, the monkey bars, or they fail at their first business, I want them to have the mentality to get back up because that, if you study the greats out there, they all, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, biz, all these great business people, they get back up. And a lot of us, we were never taught this. We fall and we stay down and we, we become a victim. We start giving ourselves the identity. I'm not good enough. That's not who I am. And it's a bunch of BS. So I want to impart this on you. I know this is simple, but it's extremely powerful. So if you feel like you're one of those people, right? You got that victim mentality or you fall and you stay down for weeks or months, or some of us even years, I mean, maybe even your whole life. You need to work with a coach. You need to work with one of our team members to start extracting all the limiting beliefs, all the insecurities, all the, the piss poor mindset and mentality and the victimhood mentality that you may have uh, adopted. You were birthed with that. You, you learned that along your way, but you need someone to help you pull you out of it, break through a lot of that junk, right? Not to be freaking lame in life. And so I don't say that in a condemning way, I say it in a hopeful way. I hope that you would be willing to invest in you so that you can actually prosper to the level in which you want. And even if you never hit financial freedom, which that's impossible if you you know really plug, plug in and really press in and you, you take the lessons and all the coaching that we give, but because it's not reserved for the elite or the special, right? But if you take that and that you never hit financial freedom, but yet you were set free, you went from victim to victor, you went from unsuccessful to successful in the emotional space and the mental space, it's like, that's freedom. That's the true freedom. Financial freedom is just, you know, it's just something in Western culture that we're chasing after. Um, I always say it's not the end destination like retirement, it's actually the starting point where you can make an impact, where you can be able to help teach others, you can be able to walk people down that path so that they can be set free or do the things that they love and enjoy and spend time with the loved ones. So if that's you, reach out. We want to help you. All right. All right, guys. So that's today's video. If you want to go get it tattooed on your arm, I'm just playing. Don't get it tattooed on your arm, but it is a lesson that you want ingrained in the year. So hopefully it helped today. I know it's simple yet powerful, but comment below. Love to know what did you take away? How's things going to shift for you moving forward? Like it, give it a thumbs up, and most importantly, subscribe and hit that notification button so that you know when more videos are coming out so that you can be able to get the distinctions you need, the, the golden nuggets that you need to make a shift. And I will tell you this, you're only one distinction away from your life radically transforming. So make sure you subscribe. With that, my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for tuning in today. Have a great one. See you guys.